All right, in this um, video, we're going to use differenti differentials to estimate the maximum relative error when, when computing the volume. And what we're looking at is a, um, is a, a golf ball, which, you know, you can just draw a picture of, but don't really need to because we know what a golf ball looks like. But anyway, I'll draw this picture here. And the um, formula for volume of a, of a sphere is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then we have our differential formula, which says that the linear change in V is equal to the derivative V times dr. So dr is a small change in the radius, and V prime is the rate of change. So if you multiply the rate of change times small change of r, you get a, a change in, in the volume. That's assuming that the rate of change is constant. That's the um, over the interval of change, and that's where the approximation comes in. But um, now I can just go ahead and take the derivative of v, which is 4 thirds pi times 3r squared, and then dr. So therefore, dv is going to be 4 pi r squared dr. So that's a little bit of a step that we achieved there by getting that. And then what we do is we're going to put in r is, is 5. And then our small change in R is 0 0.1. So the question is, if, you, if you're making this golf ball and the radius is 0.5, but you think there's a measurement error of 0.1, then how much is your error in volume going to be, your measurement error? Uh, what, is it, what does a small change in, in R do to affect the volume? What change does that make in, vol, in volume? So I have in, I put in R is 5. And then I get 4 times pi times 25 times 0.1. So dv is equal to 100 pi. That's our rate of change times our small change in, in r, which is 0.1. So dv is equal to 10 pi. And this is our, what are they saying? The possible change in volume. meaning that's the, at most what it could be. Now, we're also supposed to find the relative error. And the relative error is the following. You take your, your error, dv, but then you relate it to by, oh, by the v, by forming a fraction. So that is going to be, dv is 4 pi r squared dr. That's from the that formula above there that we have for dv that's highlighted in yellow. And then I divide by the volume formula. And what I'm doing actually now is, is, is coming up with a, a formula for, for dv, but um, so that's what I'm doing here. Okay, you could probably do it if you just want to actually directly answer the question quick, more quickly, you could do that in more, maybe a more direct way. But there is some canceling out. And so this simplifies to 3 dr over r. So what this is saying is that the relative, the, the relative error is is in volume is 3 times the relative error in the radius. So that's going to be 3 times So that's 3 times dr over r. Well, dr is 0.1 and r is 5. So, um, all right. I mean, maybe just to make this a little easier, this is like 6 tenths times 1 tenth. So this is 0 0.06. So it's 6 over 100, which was 0 0.06. So that's the relative error. And then you could take that even further. And um, I mean, without like literally with very little work, you can find the percent, you can state what the percent error is. 
So that's six percent, even though they didn't ask that for that. So they have the percent error and the relative error. So okay. Um, so what it's saying is that the relative error is um, in the in the radius is 0.1 divided by five. So that's 0.1 times um, um, 0.2, so that's 0.02. That's the relative error in, in the radius, but then you multiply it by three and you get the relative error in the, in the volume. These are just, you know, I'm just plugging into formulas. I have a differential formula and then I have the relative error formula, the percent error is simply taking 0.06 and moving the decimal two places. So a lot of this is just plugging into formulas. Okay, it's, it's the understanding of what, what, what a differential is and why it works. Um, it's, it takes a little bit more. Okay, that's all. <laughs>